Hello, I'm Joe Mentrakoski and we're going to do a review on uh, how to create ID badging using the Secure software. The printer uh, is a Fargo HDP 5000. The cards are loaded in the card hopper. And for the cards, you'll be putting, there's two sides on the card, one with numbers at the bottom and no numbers. So you will be putting the cards in the hopper with the card numbers up and to the left in the hopper. Close the hopper. Printer should be on. You have your options and info. Uh, to replace the ribbons, you would open up the hatch and you have one. One is the ribbon that prints. The other is a lamination material, and the laminate is good for 500 prints. The ribbon is 250, so you'll be replacing ribbon more often than the, the laminate. And there's instructions, it shows you a diagram on how the ribbon should be loaded. The spools have different colors, so they're easy, easy to load. Start it at the bottom, put the ribbon in the bottom, and, and go up to the top. The laminate is the same, would be the same. And there's arrows and everything and to guide you. You all should have an instruction book. printer does take a while when you start it to warm up, get it up to temperature. So you can restart it. Your printing supplies and, and cards can be ordered through the CLAM, uh, through the loss and order. So you can order your ribbons, cards, badge reels, all through the CLAM, through your loss and ordering. There's, here's the instruction that, that should be in the box with the, that the printer came. And we'll give you the, the guidelines. When I said we use the 5,000. This is the current room setup we have in biomedical communications. We have the camera on the shelf and then the wall painted blue. Uh, the blue we've been using now is the Geisinger blue, but you want a matte surface. You don't want it gloss. Um, we have it about four to five feet from the camera to the chair. You can have them stand up against the blue wall or, or sit. Most everyone's going to have the ring light and the camera, so it's a little different than, than our setup here in biomedical communications. But the same thing, you're going to want to set it four to five feet. You can adjust the camera to zoom and it will set in the secure for you. Uh, lighting will be from the ring light, so if you can have your light on a dimmer, we have a dimmer switch that we can adjust our overhead lighting. But you don't want the overhead lighting to overpower the ring light. 